In this video, I'm going to go through setting up a front-end development project using some NPM build tools. We will be using Gulp to run our build tasks, Stylus as the CSS preprocessor, HTML min as the markup minification tool, and Browser Sync to automatically refresh the browser. We're going to be building our project in a source directory and have it output to a dist directory. We will run a server in the disk directory and a watch task that will monitor file changes and run build tasks once files are updated. So I've set up a basic project here. I've set up an HTML file that's called index.html, a style sheet, styles.style. This is the file extension that Stylus will use. And I've set up a package.json file so that we can install our dev dependencies. It's very basic, it just needs the name really and um, that would be enough. So this is what our um, directory looks like. We have a source directory which has the styles directory and then we also have an index.html file in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and install our dev dependencies. So I'm gonna run npm install dash dash save dev and install the gulp package, gulp stylus, gulp html min and browser sync. This will modify our package.json file to include the dependencies and it'll create a directory called node modules um, of our packages. All right, looks like it finished. So we have our node modules directory with browser sync gulp, gulp html min and stylus installed. So let's just take a look at our directory structure. So as mentioned, we have the source directory with index.html, the styles directory, and then the stylus file. So let's start creating our build tool tasks using gulp. So in order to do that, we need to create a file called gulpfile.js. So let's create that in the root of our project. Let's go back to Sublime and check it out. Currently it's empty. So let's pull in gulp. And we also need to pull in everything else. So let's, we also have gulp HTML min. So let's do that. Let's pull in stylus. And let's pull in browser sync. And we can see on each of these pages documentation how to do that. So the browser sync documentation will explain how to use browser sync. The stylus documentation will explain how to use stylus for gulp as well as the gulp HTML min file. So let's start with the minification tasks. So let's create a task called HTML. And so let's get everything, all the HTML files in the source directory. And we could do that by doing gulp source. And then our source directory is source. So we can do that. And let's get all of the HTML files. Currently we just have one, but this should work. And let's Type that to HTML min and let's give it a option of collapse white space true and once again on the documentation for HTML min you can see all the available options that you can pass through and let's pipe it to a new directory call and call it gulp dist let's do a dist directory Now let's, that should be enough to run our HTML task. So if we have this file, we should 
see a new directory get created called dist and it should minify the index.html file. Let's try that. All right. So we have a directory called dist. And we have that index.html file. And if we take a look at that one, it is minified. We can look at it in Sublime as well. Minified. Great. So next, let's create our stylus task. So we want to pre-process our CSS using stylus, and we also want to output it in the disk directory. So let's create a task called styles. Let's get everything in the styles directory. Let's pipe that to stylus. And let's put that in the dist directory. There, that should be enough to do that. So let's see if that works. And it says it was done. Let's see what we got. We have a stylus, styles file that was created here. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And it compiled to regular CSS. So that works too. So let's say we want to compress this like our HTML. We can do that simply by modifying the gulp task. We can pass the option compress equals true to this stylus plugin. So if we do that and we run our task again, we should see it compressed. So now that we have our HTML minification task and our CSS preprocessor task, let's create our browser sync task. Again, browser sync is the tool that we're going to use to create a server, which will serve our disk directory. And it'll also watch our files for any changes and refresh the browser for us automatically without us having to do that ourselves. So let's do that by creating a task. Let's call it browser sync. And let's call create browser sync with the dot create method, which creates an instance of browser sync. This is the way that the browser sync documentation recommends you use browser sync, although it will work without this part. So let's call browser sync dot init, and we have to pass it an option of the server. The base directory will be dist. So that should work to provide a server for us. Let's see if that works. And there it is. It popped open. We have our disk directory being served. So now that we have the browser sync server running, let's create our watch task. And the watch task will automatically watch our file system and then refresh the browser for us automatically. So let's stop the browser sync and then let's go into our gulp file. I'm gonna do open equals false because I already have this open. Oops, that actually belongs down here. I'm gonna do open equals false. I don't want it to keep opening every time I uh, run the task. So that means that it should, if I run the task again, it should run the server and not open automatically. And then if I go here, refresh, it'll say connected to browser sync. It's great. Okay, so now in let's do 
live reloading or automatic reloading with um, the HTML files. So we can do that very easily with just one extra line over here in the HTML task. And that will be pipe to browser sync dot stream. We can do the exact same thing with the stylus task as well as we also have to add the watch tasks here. So what we're going to do is do gulp watch. We're going to watch source index sorts everything.html and then after that we're going to run the HTML task. We're going to do the same thing, but with the stylus task. And we're going to run the styles task. Let's create a new task, which is going to be the default task, so that we can just call everything right away. So in that task, let's run the HTML task, let's run the styles task, and then finally, let's run the browser sync task. And so hopefully this will work to run all of these tasks and then launch the server for us. There's only one way to find out. Let's delete the disk directory and let's see if it comes back. We can just type gulp to run all these tasks. Gulp, by default, that if we call a task default, it means we don't have to specify the task name when running gulp. All right, looks like it's running. We're connected to browser sync. Let's see if this is working for us. So if I go into my index.html file and I say hello world, give it some exclamation marks. If I save it, it should automatically refresh, and it did. Let's do the same with our CSS. Oh, it would help if we included the CSS. Let's do that. There it is. That's why that wasn't working. Let's put a background color of light gray. And there we go. So that is how you set up build tasks for HTML minification, CSS preprocessing, file watching, and automatic browser reload. You can access the code used in this video on my GitHub page. The link will be specified below the video. Thanks for watching.